Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you're new. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the Super Golden Markers by Lightwish. And I thank you so much, Lightwish, for sending it to me when they contacted me. First of all, I was surprised. <laughs> uh, but I guess it means I've arrived, right guys? No, I'm just kidding. But um, when they contacted me, they, they were very nice, saying that they really like my channel and this and that. Now, in the past, I had really, really nice people contact me, illustrators that do PDFs or like Amazon books, but I um, didn't accept it because I don't really like Amazon books. And I don't color PDFs, you guys see. I like my, my stuff in a good quality book. I don't know why that's part of the experience for me. But when Lightwish contacted me about these, I had seen them on uh, Coloring with K, and I love anything metallic, as you guys know, especially if it's chrome. So I was really excited, and I said, yes, I would love to try those. And they were kind enough to send it to me. So uh, I know you guys, I'm not going to you know, bother with an unboxing and a swatching, because you, you guys have already seen that, I'm sure. But I'm going to show you the swatches. Um, just get it in the light here. Um, I'll move it around so you can kind of see the metallic. They're very nice. They're very metallic and chrome. Um, and they rival, I would say, the Caliro, the Caliro watercolors that I love so much. And um, so some of them, oh, I forgot to uh, circle some of these one second. So all the ones that are circled, you guys, are the ones that have a silver, uh, a silver metallic undertone. It's like a silver chrome. So this brown color has a silver, uh, I guess, powder or chrome. I'm not sure what it is. So this one, this one, these these uh, colors all have a silver undertone. But what's amazing, and and then you see that a lot in you know like other brands, but. First of all, this brown you don't see often, and it's it's a really wonderful color. The turquoise also is a very nice color that you don't see. But what's amazing is their golds. Like they these colors that I did not circle actually have a gold undertone, not a silver metallic undertone. So they have like a gold kind of um, shimmer in them or like a, a powder almost. I don't know exactly what it is, but... You get what I'm saying. So that that's what makes it really, really cool. And I'm a gold lover. I, like, I love the gold. <laughs> I love using gold so much. I mean, the silver is amazing and the turquoise also, but I love the golds and the greens. Those are like my favorites. So what I'm going to do in this video is actually show you how I use it in a page. And side by side to the Caliros, you kind of see them in action and they're very, very comparable. So I think it's a cheaper way to go instead of, you know, those little palettes they sell on e, um, Etsy that are very, very expensive and wonderful. I'm not saying they're not great or that I won't get it or anything, but this is a much cheaper option, you know, and look at all the colors you get. So I'm going to uh, take out some pages and show you how um, I'm using them in a page. Okay, so right over here I have um, Fabiana Atanasio's Wizard of Oz. I think it's a Polish version, I'm not sure. But um, I have started this page a while ago. And it's my second page. This one was my first one, which I love. And I'm working on this one. This is one that I have been wanting to do for a while. But um, I thought it would be cool to try um, the super golden markers on this page. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer here. And I think I'm going to try it on some of these uh, stars. So let's see here. Yeah, I would say that it really feels like the Caliro metallic watercolors. The, the chrome here is really good quality. So, you know, I was playing with them and I really like them. I really, really like them. So do like a silver as well and what's nice is <clears throat> the tip is really small so it might be easier for some of you rather than a brush you guys know that I use my um where's my tiny brush um I need to find it but I use like a small here it is 
the tiny watercolor brush to apply the metallic watercolors and it might be hard for some people but this one is foolproof i feel like it's really easy shaking it a little bit let's try a little bit of silver Going over the um, the black lines here. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very, very shiny. <laughs> Definitely nice. And I actually, um, I'm going to show you a page where I have already Caliro on the page. And then we'll try that. Uh, right over here, I am going to open up Elves in Wonderland, which is a page. I have a page that I'm working on here for the fall. And I have already used a lot of Calero watercolors in here. But we're going to use these super golden markers. Um, I already started here using uh, this um, pinky color. This color right here. I would say that the pink is a little less shiny. The pink, uh, the blue, and the purple are a little bit less shiny, but these golds are like, oh my God, and the silver. So let me, but I still like it, obviously. <laughs> these are, I like all the colors. So, and I noticed that um, even with Caliros, some of the colors are not as opaque and not as shiny. So it probably depends also on the pigment, you know, the color itself. So right here, I'm using the pink one. I already used it here, as you can see. And it's more of like a matte uh, metallic type of finish. So that is the pink. But look how easy it is to do, you know. Um, it's definitely easier than a brush. Um, I could definitely see myself if I, when I run out of these, repurchasing them. Okay, now right over here, uh, let's try this um, leaf here. What color should we do? Hmm, it's a tough decision. Either orange or warm gold. I named them. I don't think they don't really have names, but I kind of named them. Let's try the orange color. I really love the, I love it. This one, it's this one. Beautiful. Okay, let's try it out here. Oops, I think I need to shake it a little bit more. Sorry, I had to shake it to get it going. You gotta shake it to make sure that you get the um, metallic part in. Otherwise, you'll just get the pigment to the orange color. Oh, there we go, there we go. Got it going there. Okay, let me just finish that coloring that in and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished uh, doing the outline here of the leaf and look at that. I'm just gonna move it so you can see the shininess. Let me go out a little bit and show you, there we go. So here I have the Calero and then this is the super golden markers. So beautiful um, and that's the orange color which is this one right here. So uh, now I think I'm going to try, what's nice is, about the nib is that you can do little dots. So I think I'm going to try and show you how I do use these with uh, little dots on the paper. Okay, so I came to use these three colors for these little dots here. Let me just show you. I'm working in... Uh, Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice, which is a book I love. And I think I showed it in my um, uh, Everything I've Ever Colored videos. 
Now I'm starting, so right over here, I did these dots a long time ago with acrylic marker, and I thought it would be nice to use these um, to kind of go over that and may add a little shine. Now, I I did my swatch a couple days ago, and I didn't clean the tips. I cleaned maybe two, and then I got lazy. I didn't clean the tips. And now when I opened one of them, uh, it was clogged. So I just went, I took out the tip and cleaned it. So I noticed that Shelly from Shell's journey, Shell's um, coloring journey, said a brilliant tip that she removes the tips of all of her markers to kind of uh, lengthen the life. And it's probably a good idea. I don't do that with a lot of my markers and some of them stay, the good quality ones are fine, but a lot of them clog up. And so this one was clogged up. Luckily, I, I ran it through the, um, water and some of it was removed but um i think if you wait too long to do that it won't work because you know it dries up if, especially if there's acrylic in here i don't know if these are considered acrylic but acrylic you know clogs up really fast it becomes like a plasticky so this one i had to unclog luckily so keep that in mind that is definitely something to keep in mind. Let's use another color. I'm actually gonna continue with this orange. And then go into the red. Let's get the red color. This one right here. So the one that clogged up is this one, what I called a warm gold. It's kind of like a yellowy orange color. It kind of clogged up. So let me see. The red is working okay. You really got to shake them. See, this is my scratch paper here. And the first thing that came out was red. So I'm, wait oh, there we go. There's the metallic. See how it has a gold undertone? I don't know if you can see that. So um, this does, this does ghost. Uh, this is a very thin paper. So at first I had a lot of pigment and it went through, but um, I noticed that on a, a, rel a relatively good paper, it does not, it doesn't bleed through. Let's see, let me just get that going. Okay. But yeah, I would say with thin double-sided books, you have to be careful with this. Okay, let's see if you can get a feel for the shimmer there. There we go. See the golden dots? Um, yeah, that looks really cute. And here is my scratch paper. You could see there's the red pigment underneath. That's the when just the red came out and then you got the gold on top um and let me show you the back here of the page I should I show you also in the other one see how uh, these are the dots that i did and there's no bleed through here because i had already um you know got the metallic uh, out of the of the uh nib so um let me get the other books the fabiana book also, nothing, no bleed through. This is a good paper. So, um, yeah, it looks like you got to clean the nibs for sure on these. And let's do um, maybe some of the uh, green here. Let's use a green. You got a light green and a dark green. They're pretty similar. So I would say this dark green is not very dark. It's actually a light lime green, but I love lime green, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, let's work it. There we go. You see the green there? Let's work it into a page here. Uh, 
Let's get the lighter green and do this one here. You can kind of see the, see that green there? Right there, very shiny. Now this is a Calero, so I like how um, it, it definitely rivals the Calero for sure. Okay, let me get just my green going. See, that's just the pigment. No metallic has come out yet, so I have to shake it a little more to get the metallic out there. There we go. There we go. So let's do this one. And then we'll look at the back of the page. Okay, let's see, you can see that metallic there. And let's look at the back of the page. Sorry, yeah, there's nothing there. This is bleed through from my um, Neo colors, so it's not, it's not that. This is where the metallic, there's a little bit of ghosting. Can you see the, um, they do provide a little bit of ghosting, uh, these markers. So you gotta be careful with the thickness of your paper that you're using. Um, but it's really not bad. So if you got decent paper, the ghosting isn't bad, but there is ghosting for sure. Um, this is a very thick paper, so, um, but you can kind of see a little bit there. Um, and this paper, a lot of you asked me what paper I use to swatch. This is just a mixed media paper that, you know, I bought in bulk a long time ago. I don't even know what it is exactly, but it's just like a mixed media paper. Um, yeah, so I really like that. Let's do another stem here. What color? Let's do this one. This is, I believe, the, oh, this is the brown. Let's do the brown. A little bit here on the, let me just, uh, whoop, it came out. Oh my goodness. Look what happened, it came out, I need to... Oh, they twist, okay, okay. Looks like the nib came, did you see that? The nib came out, but okay, there we go. I twist it back in. And here we go, working it. I love this brown color. Let's try it here on the acorn. Maybe we'll do, I'm going over pencil. It looks like it goes over pencil. And this is Prismacolor, so that's pretty good because you guys know that's waxy. So if it goes over Prisma, I'm sure it'll go over other other things. There you go. You see that? I just put that over Prismacolor. Wow, very cool. So you can do on top of pencil. Yeah, that is awesome. So you can outline with it. Let's see here. Let's do an outline here. A lot of these colors are perfect for fall pages because you got a lot of gold. And again, I'm going over burnished Prisma color here. And it totally goes over. There you go. Let me just cap it. Oops. Got to make sure the cap is a little finicky, so make sure you push it really hard. Okay, there you go. That is over another leaf there. That's the brown color. Here's the acorn and that leaf. Yeah, it's really chrome and nice. I really, really like it. But uh, you got to be careful with the tips so that they don't clog up, it seems like. And uh, let's see if there's another color I could show you. Uh, I wanted to quickly show you that when I shook the darker green a little more, it did come out a little darker. So, And, and I want to show you here how it's actually covering the black line. Let's see if I can get you in here. There you go. 
it completely covers the black line. Let me just do a couple here. And I'll move the um, paper in a second. There you go. See that shiny? That's the darker green color. And it, um, it completely covers the line. So it's very opaque, which is awesome. There you go. You can see that. Love it. All right, so right here I took out my Romantic Country Third Tale, which has amazing paper. And we're going to do here, I have, I painted this um, uh, banner around the, scar, uh, around the tree here with uh, acrylic markers that I love that from AliExpress. I showed you guys that a while ago. And the red is this combo right here. And I think that these metallic super golden markers would look really nice next to acrylic. And um, I love the way metallic looks next to the acrylic. So we are going to do a little bit of that here. So um, first of all, we're going to try this color, the turquoise, which I love. This is a really awesome, awesome color that you don't see in a lot of sets. I'm just going to shake it here. Um, Let's get it going. Uh oh, I hope this one didn't dry out either. There we go. I think I'm gonna have to go rinse all of these tips later. Okay, so let's try it over here. Yeah, that looks awesome next to the... And I really need to do a how I choose color video. I know I keep saying that, but I a lot of times next to an orangey red or like a corally red, which is my favorite kind of red to use, um, it really looks nice next to um, a turquoise or like a, a light blue that has a little bit of turquoise in it, you know, like a, a greeny light blue. So, or like near it. Aqua also looks good next to it. So this color looks really nice next to the reddish, the corally red here that we have. Oh my God, that looks awesome. Let me hold it up here. If you could see. And then here, uh, purple goes great with yellowy, especially like a orangey, yellowy gold. So this color is perfect. This one is my favorite favorite color gold and it reminds me of the Tibet gold in the Caliro there we go let me bring you in a little closer And then here, maybe we could use the uh, reddish. This color kind of reminds me of the Phoenix color in the Caliros, which is one of my favorite colors. Yeah, that's look how nice that looks with the acrylic, you guys. Does that look good? And um, let's turn the page over. See if there was any ghosting or bleed through. This paper, this is the Japanese edition, so the paper is really nice. And yeah, there's no, there's no bleed through there. So yeah, that looks really awesome. Um, yeah, so these are like a great alternative. Um, I would say to the Caliros, uh, but I would definitely take Shelly's brilliant tip of cleaning out the tips. Um, I th and you basically just uh, pull it out and run it underwater. It's not going to get everything out, but it will get it will get some out, and that'll I think help it not clog for the future. And you got to push really tightly on the lids to make sure that they are closed. 
so, um, yeah, that is my, here's my little, look at how shiny that is. <laughs> They're very shiny and nice. By the way, guys, I forgot to say, I will link these in the description box below. I do like them. And um, uh, thank you so much to Lightwish for sending it to me. Um, I really enjoy playing with them and I look forward to uh, using them more in the future. And then I will, I will tell you guys where I use it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.